Hey there and welcome. Today I'll be doing some customising. I picked up these pen holders, quite a few of them. Obviously they're not going to be just for pens, they'll be for paint brushes, clay tools, whatever. I quite liked the shape and I like the size of them. They can hold a lot. They're bamboo pen holders that I picked up from Kmart, $4.50 each. And by the time I inject a little bit of my own flavor into them, they should look quite nice and far better than this crummy old thing. It's a uh, cutlery strainer. It's really awful, looks disgusting. And it's really annoying because everything just Pulls through the bottom. Indecisive me, I could not for the life of me decide what I wanted to use. So I decided I will do three different mediums. So the three mediums I'm going to use are acrylic paint, polymer clay, and resin. Now while I'm doing three different mediums, I do kind of want them to tie in a bit together. I don't want them to be exactly the same. I have this tendency to go matchy-matchy with everything, which drives me nuts, but I just, I don't know, I don't seem to be able to help myself. I thought by doing three different mediums that will stop me being so matchy-matchy, but I will try and go with similar colours, so they kind of do tie in with each other. I'm going to go three different patterns on each, but try and have a semblance of similarity in the pattern. Different but same, same different. The next thing I had to try and come up with after deciding that I wanted these was what am I going to put on them? Normally I've got a pretty good idea on what I want to do and my brain just latches onto the first idea and won't let it go, but my brain was quite empty. Apart from, <laughs> I traced, I traced these into my sketchbook. Apparently what I was thinking about was cocktails on the beach. It had been a really rough week. This looked a little bit too intricate, way beyond my art skills and sculpting skills, painting skills, resin skills. So then the next idea I came up with was something like this. And as I say, I do like the wood, so I don't think I want to completely get rid of the wood. I just want to inject some colour into them. But for now, I am going to start with the painting one. Seems that line work is already done. I'm going to get onto this and away we go. Okay, so step one is mixing my paint. I've still got to come up with my colours. Okay, so I've picked out my colours that I want. So there's the colours, the three colours. Well, looks like two, but there is a third, I promise. So now it's time to tape this up. So I've decided I'm going to tape it up with washi tape it's definitely going to give me a lot cleaner line and I'm using a ruler and a little knife to cut down the other line so one side of the tape will be there and then I'll cut down these tape this thing up I really whew, what an absolute job that was I think I would have been better off if I'd had some nice thick tape I could have just put one lot of tape over it and then but no anywho let's get some gesso on this baby and yes I realize I could just go straight over the top of everything but I just want to keep idea of where my shapes are. one's been sufficiently gessoed. I'm a little bit worried that the line work that I've taped out because it was so fiddly and whatnot I, I don't know how well it stuck to the wood and I've got this feeling that it's going to come out really messy. So I went ahead and taped up another one but I've gone for bigger shapes with just the full width of the tape and that was <laughs> this took me 
uh, five minutes to tape up whereas this one took me probably an hour now I'll go ahead and gesso this one and um, I'll have two to choose from dry enough to paint. Time to paint this one now. Hopefully I've got enough paint. Okay, the paint on this one is dry relatively dry anyway touch dry so <gasps> fingers crossed i hope it's worked but i'm gonna peel off the tape So that's what it looks like. Um, <laughs> it's a bit rough and I hate that you can see the pencil lines. Top's a bit dodgy, needs some patching up. This one's perfectly dry now, so let's detape it and see if it's turned out any better than that one. I think maybe some of the problem is that gesso is showing underneath and uh, some of the paint's ripped off. And that's This has come up much nicer. None of those dirty pencil marks. Still not perfect, but on the whole, I'm pretty happy with it. Kind of cool. So this just needs a coat of Liquitex varnish to finish it off. And I'm just going to leave it as is. So you can see the difference. I don't know, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the smaller lines and the more shapes or the fatter lines and less shapes? At the moment, I'm liking this better, but that's because I can see so many imperfections in this. So I'm not going to write this off completely. I've got a couple of ideas on how I might be able to save it, make it look half decent. One involves glitter because, you know, glitter fixes everything. And the other one involves a diamond kit. You know, these little mats you put down and you stick a million bloody gems on the thing. Not something I would enjoy, but um, I found a cheap one and this is the picture of it. It's flamingos on a beach. So I'm hoping there's going to be enough of the diamonds in there that maybe I could do a border around it. Maybe I could do the glitter and the diamonds, make it really sparkly. We'll see. Now, I've not actually used Liquitex before. Up until now, I've just been using Mod Podge, but I did tell myself in the last video, invest in a better varnish, which I have done. As you can see, brand new. Um, the other thing I told myself to invest in was some better acrylic paints, which I did that as well. So I've got some Montmartre paints. They're still not super duper quality, but like compared to some of the others I saw in price. But you know what? I'm really happy with the um, Montmartre. It's really thick and... Um, 
those coats just went down so much better than my crappy old paints. <gasps> Do you know what I've just realised? I purchased the matte one. I actually wanted the satin finish. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is the current state of my desk. What? And seems we are moving on to the polymer clay one. I desperately need to have a big clean up and then reset. Okay, so I got this jewellery kit. I was going to do a kit review on it, but I've already stolen the clay out of it for another project. So I may as well pinch everything else out of it that I might need. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is look through the book and see if there's anything on marbling because I think that's what I kind of want to do. Yeah, okay. All right, what else is in here? I think that's the gold leaf. There's a cutter, knobbly thingies. I presume that's supposed to be a rolling pin. I've actually got a pasta maker though, so I might bust that out. It's only been used once in its life and it's about mm, five years old. May as well put it to use. So, supplies. I purchased this a while back thinking I was just going to do some sculpture with it, but now I'm doing this um, marbling and I want to do it flat. So I don't know how well this is going to go. This is the semi-translucent. Although I think it might work if I colour it with some of this. So I'm going to need the blue, green to try and make that colour pink and a little bit of yellow to get some orange going on to get this color um but i've also purchased some pearlescent now this is super sculpy and this is sculpy three i have no idea what the difference is so i'm not even gonna guess yes yeah, so i've got some pearl and i definitely want to put that in there mix that with that and a tiniest little bit of yellow i might get a sort of a creamy color okay no idea what i'm doing I really don't want to waste the sculpey because it's not cheap. So I've got my three colours done. Pretty happy with those. Now, <laughs> getting to the tricky part. Uh, I'm going to roll these three into sausages. Pretty firm sausage. <laughs> oh, blimey, you're firm too. It's pretty cold here, so they're um they're getting cold and stiffening up pretty quick. <laughs> pretty quickly. This one's not too bad. I've just been rubbing it between my hands. Then shouldn't it be the stiffest of all? <clears throat> Anywho, we've got our three. I don't think I'm going to need all of that. So I'm going to cut them in half. enough kind of marbled i've set my pasta machine up it's 
So I'm just going to go off over here for a little minute where my camera is not. To put it through at a level two. Okay, there it is. Nice big strip. Now uh, I'm just going to, because it's very long. Um, but on my pasta machine, I have a spaghetti and a fettuccine setting. So I think I'm going to make some fettuccine because the width of the fettuccine is about the width of the design I had. All right, well, there we go. So it's about that width, maybe a bit thinner, but we're going to use it anyway. It's going to save me having to cut it all by hand. Say hi. Oh, you're a girl. Oh, a lovely girl. <laughs> lovely girl. Right? You're going to get your hairs on my work now, aren't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think that finishes it off well. Okay, time to bake it. Good luck. Little crappy pen holder. Okay, I hate this. Um, I tried putting varnish on to make it nicer. I just, I hate it. It was, the marbling didn't come out the way I wanted it. And it was just a bad idea from the very beginning. So scrap it because I've thought about it and thought about it and don't know how to save it. And then off to the side, I had this ball of stuff and I just noticed it. And I really liked the pattern that was in there. So I thought, ah, oh, I'll just chuck it through the pasta maker, see what happens. And voila, this was just all off cuts and bits and pieces that are just lumped together and that's my favorite so far so i'm going to see if i can do something with this i've got another one of these yes another pen holder i actually started with spares thank goodness time for a play see what we can do see if we can get this polymer clay pen holder to work So time to move on and get the resin one done. Been experimenting with the resin, can't seem to come up with a plan that I'm really happy with. And I'm just getting to the point, I've just got to get this done so I can get this video made. I think I'm too inexperienced for all the ideas that I'm coming up with. What I've got are these sticker sheets. I'm not too happy about the blingy, but I do really like the ridged texture. I'm going to paint over top of the diamantes, stick them on, fill the inside with resin mix and see what that looks like. I think I actually like that far less. Scrap that, I'm just gonna keep it as the diamantes. Screw it.
That's the plain acrylic paint one with a matte varnish. Very happy with how that one turned out. And that's about the only one that turned out as I thought it would for a pen holder, or should I say a paintbrush holder. I'm happy with it. This was the original acrylic paint one that I did. I went over the edges because the lines of the pencil showed through. So I went over that with the diamond bead thingamajigs. And I'm actually happy with how that turned out. I think it might be my favourite. I love something with a bit of texture on it. Pens and pencils. This was the first polymer clay one I did and I wasn't really happy with it. It's growing on me. Sometimes I look at it and think, yeah, that's okay. And then other times I look at it and go, ugh, it's terrible. It's still functional for pencils and textures. Nice pastels. This was my second shot at polymer clay. This done with the offcuts, put through the pasta maker. I actually don't mind it. A bit like the other polymer clay one. Sometimes I look at it and go, ugh. And other times I look at it and go, yeah, I like that. Watercolour brushes. This is the resin. Um, yeah, definitely not what I had in mind at all. And I'm not really keen on it. I don't like the Diamantes. I was going to paint over them and then decided not to. And it's just a little bit too blingy. It is what it is. Play tools things etc i hope you enjoyed this video maybe got some ideas out of it for yourself maybe not i'll catch you next time